guys. Um, uh, as promised, I'm going to do a uh, bit of a, an inspection on these little guys today um, and uh, post the video for you guys to have a look at. We're just going to see where everything's up to, these three and those three over there. Um, so I've got my smoker going, ready to go, and um, probably going to get into this little guy first, have a look around, see what's going on, see if we need to feed or anything along those lines. So, um, yeah, stick with me. Um, there'll be lots of cuts in and out, but, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get this going and see where things are at. Okay, so take a look at these guys, and they look like they're doing fairly well. So I'm going to have to clean this up a little bit um, and uh, see uh, how the brood's going, etc, etc. But um, so far, they're looking like they're doing fairly well. High population, um, a lot of honeycomb, so um, yeah, so far so good. I'll, we'll, um, I'll check back in if there's any issues. Hey guys. Um, so it's a very quick rundown in the middle of this because these guys are, went fairly nuts and it was fairly difficult. Um, this hive's doing really well, got a lot of stores, got great brood, um, a lot of brood in the middle, a lot of stores on the outside and as you can see they were, growing, uh, they were building up quite a lot in the middle. These guys here, um, once again doing really well, um, no queen excluder on there but the top box is probably I'd say 60% full, um, full of honey. Um, and um, absolutely just epic brood growing down, uh, brood uh, laying in the middle of the uh, bottom box with some stores on either side as well. So they're going absolutely fantastic and could easily defend their hive. I've decided to leave these guys for today because um, I'm actually going to get a tripod so you can actually see more of this. Um, so uh, yes, we'll leave that one for today. I did want to very quickly show you something I thought was quite interesting. Um, uh, over here, we have, I've just opened up these little guys because I was, I was constantly checking the back. Um, you can never quite see how well they're going at the back here. You can see they're pretty much empty. Um, and I was kind of thinking, oh man, these guys aren't really doing very well. But I wanted to, what I want to do is I want to show you how they've, how they've actually been doing. So, sorry. So this is how they've actually been doing. Um, uh, they are basically filling from the front to the back as you can see there so what I thought was a fairly weak hive um, is actually turning out to be a fairly strong one now um, this as you can I don't know whether you can see it down here you can see this frame here the outer frame uh, is pretty much empty they're just working on filling up those cells um, so you've got a good population in here I'm not really going to disturb these girls very much um, but they've uh, they, they, I was concerned about them and as you can see I don't necessarily have to be uh, because they're just basically working front of the back and in, uh, inside to the outside as um, they often tell you in your um, different courses and bits and pieces you learn about beekeeping so this is a perfect example take a middle frame out and you can see it's fairly um, well capped down here doing exactly the same thing on this side a little bit less um, and then these guys Absolutely nada. It's a good example of exactly how our little girls work. And they're doing a fantastic job. All right, last quick rundown before um, I finish up today, guys. Uh, so these guys are doing fantastic. Didn't bother to get into the really big hives today. Um, uh, it was just gonna be too much. It's getting a bit hot. Um, it's the middle of the day. Um, and yeah, so, so far, epic amounts of brood in the, in the end one. Doing really well, heaps of honey stores. Um, great amounts of brood in, in this one, honey stores. Didn't check this little guy here. Um, didn't bother to check these ones, as you can see. They're doing fairly well. There's a great amount of population there, so I'm, I'm assuming that they are going to be going fairly well. Um, these little guys you saw, went to open these guys, and um, population, oh, let's go out the front one. Have a look at the population. <laughs> No issues with population at all, uh, but when I tried to lift that roof off, um, sorry for hearing buzzing bees because they're all around my phone at the moment. Um, when I tried to lift that uh, that top lid off, it was absolutely filled to the brim with honey. So rather than make an absolute whopping great mess, um, which I've already had to clean up, I'll show you the remnants of it in a second. I thought I might just leave them today, um, and we'll we'll do it another day. So. Um, the mess I'm talking about is, of course, over here. 
So I'm gonna get in there quickly and see if I can, um, there's a lot of burr comb uh, out of the roof of that middle one. And I'm um, just trying to make sure that we um, save all those little bees in there. So I'll be doing that, picking through that very shortly. Um, all right guys, enjoy uh, the rest of your day. And uh, well, like I always say, get out there and have some fun with your bees if you can, if you've got them, if you don't, I definitely, definitely recommend you get some. Not only are they just amazing little creatures, um, so rewarding, obviously you get honey, but they're just so great to watch and very relaxing. And I often um, used to, when I had them near my living room, I'd just sit there with my feet up and watch them go in and out. Um, but they do a fantastic job for the environment as well. So um, signing off now, guys. Um, subscribe, like, comment if you've got any questions um, or comments. Love to hear what, you, uh, what your thoughts are, whether um, you've got any suggestions or anything like that. Thanks a lot again, guys. See ya. Bye.